Good morning. Welcome to the children's story. This morning is all about listening. And so first I have a game for us to play. So how this works is I'm going to play a sound and then you can see if you know what it is and I'll give you a little bit of time to guess and then I'll tell you what they are. Okay. Are you ready for the first one? Here we go. Got a guess? That one is semi someone jumping off a diving board and jumping into the pool. Next one. Did you get that one? That's an animal lives in the ocean. Yep. It's a whale. You got it. Next one. That one's a game that you play with two people and a little ball. If you said tennis, you're right. Let's hear the next one. That one might be easier. That's our friend, the dog panting because it's hot on a summer day. Next one is tricky. That one's a summer kind of sound too. If you guess fireworks, you're right. Next one. <laughs> that one's challenging. That one, that one is a big, huge animal mammal that lives in the ocean and comes out onto the rocks and makes those sounds. That one, have you got a guess? He's got big, huge, long tusks. It's a walrus. Okay, last one. That's someone roaring too. And it might not be who you think. That one's actually an alligator making his roar. Not a lion or a tiger or a bear. Well, you used your ears really well and were good listeners. And I want to play for you a story about someone from the Bible named Samuel. And he was a very good listener. So let's, let's watch. Stories of the Bible. God speaks to Samuel. This is Samuel. Hi. Samuel was the son of Hannah. Hey, Samuel. Hannah prayed for God to give her a son, and God did. So Hannah gave Samuel back to God. See you, Samuel. Bye, Mom. And Samuel grew up in the temple serving under Eli, the priest. Hi, Eli. As Samuel grew up, he learned how to serve God from Eli. Samuel lived in the house of God, but he did not know God or what God's voice sounded like. In those days, messages from God were rare. <sighs> but one night after Eli had gone to bed, Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle when suddenly God called out, Samuel! Huh? Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. Then God called out again, Samuel. Huh? And again, Samuel got up and ran to Eli asking, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. God called Samuel for a third time, Samuel. And Samuel went to Eli yet again. Hmm. After three times, Eli realized that God was trying to speak to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to say, Speak, Lord. 
Your servant is listening. Okay. Samuel went back to bed, and God came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, your servant is listening. God told him many things about what would happen to Israel. As Samuel grew up, God was with him, and everything God spoke through Samuel came true. Samuel was seen as a great prophet of God because he could hear the voice of God, and he listened when God spoke to him. Samuel was really good at listening to God's voice, and once he recognized that it was God, he became even better at listening. And then he started to tell people what he had said. Well, I wonder how you listen for God. That's, that's an interesting question, isn't it? Well, I have found some kids who have some great answers to that. So let's have a look, watch and see what they say. He can speak to you in your heart or in visions or maybe somewhere in the middle of the city. Like in your dreams or in different ways. Even when like, you're quiet by yourself. When you're hurt, like you could feel something in you that's rising up. In the Bible? Ah, uh, very bright. When you're praying, God can answer your prayers in like a different way. So like you pray, then he answers your prayer in your heart. He can speak to you in your dreams when you are afraid of something and you want to and you're afraid, you can just ask him and he can speak through your dreams just to let you know that everything's okay. So we can trust him and then believe in him more and help us, stuff like that. The scripture reading today is a story about Jesus talking to his disciples. And Jesus asks them, who do you say that I am? Well, this is a tricky question because we know that Jesus died on the cross and came back to life again and rose and went to heaven. But this part of God's story hadn't happened yet. And so it was a challenging question for God to ask his disciples. Peter answered, you are the son of God. Jesus explained that Peter knew the answer to the question and knew that Jesus was God's son because Peter was really good at listening to God. The scripture doesn't say if he heard God's voice or if he had a dream or if he heard in prayer or if he heard in silence or if he just understood and recognized that Jesus was God himself. There are lots of ways that God can speak to us. Let's finish up in prayer. God, I pray for you to open our ears and hearts to recognize your voice. Help us to be good listeners for you. I pray your voice will change us and our understanding of your world. Amen. Thanks for joining me this morning.